Assalamu alaikum. It was also around December or January 1992 where I was in a village in central Bosnia that had been surrounded by the Serbs. And the Serbs would fire artillery at this Muslim village. And there was a group of about 50 or so foreign fighters that were fighting as part of the Bosnian army to protect that village from being overrun by the Serbs. So we occupied a small house. We had a small house over two stories. And all of us, maybe at any one time, there was about 30 foreign fighters were staying there. And while the other 20 would go up to the top of the mountain and come back. And again, I just want to make clear that this was a different era, happened in the 1990s. Today, in 2024, I do not recommend any young brothers to go to a foreign war and to fight because it has serious legal consequences, has physical consequences. You could be killed, you could be disabled, you could be captured, you could be tortured. So it's no joke. So make sure you know that if that's something that you're thinking of, but it's not something that I recommend. Anyway, so back to the story. So all of us were staying there. And I remember when I first went to the house, I saw there was like a huge, like a crater or, or like a huge indentation on the side of the house. And I asked one of the brothers there that, what is this? And they said that this house where the brothers were staying at, it took a direct hit from an artillery round, but the artillery round just bounced off. It didn't explode. So there was about 300 houses in that village and one of them it took it basically landed directly on the house and if it would have exploded it would have killed all of the brothers that were in that house but it just bounced off and it didn't explode why those brothers were there for Allah's sake so Allah protected them all of us will experience fear and anxiety how many people wake up in the morning and they're worried about what's going to happen to them something might happen to them something might happen to happen to their family or, or all of us experience some type of anxiety or worry or fear all of us will experience some type of fear or anxiety or worry in our lives how many people wake up in the morning and they're afraid over something might happen to them or to their family or to their business or to their work or to the employment or their house or something Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala when you put your trust in him and your iman your intention your good deeds your dua all of these work to protect you from something evil that is happening to you you know often people say you know my duas don't get answered there's like a big dua I've been making this dua for like seven years hasn't been answered yet one of the ways a dua is answered sometimes Allah gives you what you want sometimes he keeps it for you for till the day of judgment and sometimes he replaces that dua and exchange of it he gives you something else and one of the things that Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala he gives you in exchange of that dua that you made is that he protects you from some evil that was due to come your way so maybe some evil had been ordained for you maybe some harm was going to come to you but because you made dua then Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala he protected you from that harm maybe it could have been a car accident it could have been something that happened to you it could have been some money you lost or something so every day you are making dua to Allah it could be he's giving you that thing or it could be that he's protecting you from some harm that in ways that you cannot even imagine or expect and in the case of those brothers their house was hit by an artillery shell so logically they should have all been killed and it should have exploded but it didn't because Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala he controls this that was today's video if you enjoyed this video please like it subscribe turn on the notifications and share this content far and wide so that others may also benefit assalamu alaikum warahmatullahi wabarakatuh